Hello everyone, it's Melissa and today I'm here to share my February 2020 Project Life. And so let's get started. Uh, before we jump in, I just want to mention that I use the Hobby Lobby ATC trading card sleeves, um, eight and a half by 11 size. I use the We Are Memory Keepers, eight and a half by 11 album. And so yeah, here we go. I'll show you a close up. I'll move my lights in here a little bit. And then I will go into detail. So per usual, I am using my Silhouette Monthly Cut and I just cut it in gray, backed it in a light blue there and just used a little bits for my stash. This is just an oval label. This was just a piece of ephemera I cut into a tag shape and this was just left over um, frame and just used some twine and some enamel dots. Um, next, we're going into a jelly bean soup speech bubble and just picture of my son and husband um, snowboarding. Then I used a Heidi Swap date night with a heart stamp and I stamp on all my photos with Onyx Black ink, VersaFine um, ink, and I print on my Canon printer. And I used HP printer paper from Walmart. So this is just us um, playing Uno and having some popcorn at a local brewery by our house. Uh, early spring, I usually always like to document February 2nd, which is Groundhog Day. And um, I do it differently every year, but this year I just used a Google shot from the internet and then put it on a Project Life card and did my journaling below. And um, I used my typewriter for all my journaling. And it just says, um, that uh, Phil had seen a shadow and uh, yay to an early spring. Uh, the next thing I documented this year was um, the palindrome day and it's 2020. And basically it just means that it's the same number in reverse. And um, I documented that it's the first day in 909 years. So it just means, um, the palindrome just means that it reads frontwards to backwards and it's the same, so. Just put it on a Project Life card. This is already here. On Tuesday Vibes, I just put that on in one of my filters. Just my dog under laundry. And what I want to make note of is this month I tried to bust out and go through a bunch of my freckled fawn chipboard words. And so you'll see a lot of those. Allie does that quite a bit when she wants to keep everything in a flow. She will use a ton of one singled embellishment. And that way it all kind of goes together and... Um, so what if it's overkill because you are keeping it all themed kind of to one month. So that's how I went with it. So here was one here that said, remember, this one says love. And um, this is a Project Life card. I want to say it's from Allie Edwards. And this was a leather bit, which I got is from somewhere. I don't know. I don't, I don't buy leather and I don't use leather. So, um, but it had the word love and it was really hard to read on it. So I just put a sticker from American Crafts from Crate Paper on top that says Happy Valentine's Day with gold. I'm using more of those chipboard pieces, but I just cut the ends off so there wasn't a banner just for something different. And these are just some foam, um, like, um, conversation heart candies. I don't know where I got them. Let's say Michael's. And then this was just a puffy conversation heart. So just documenting Valentine's Day. So here's another close-up. If you have any questions, don't forget, you can always ask me. I'll do my best to answer. A lot of this stuff isn't available anymore, but yeah, some of it is. Who knows? So here's a close-up of the other side. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. Also, I would love for you to give this video a thumbs up. Follow me on my page. I'm trying to build my subscriber base. I would love that. And um, also, I will put links to my other social media um, Facebook and Instagram in the description box below. So yeah, so here's a fun filter on this photo. And again, from Valentine's Day, two more of those pieces. Um, my just my daughter and the puppy. Uh, this is more of that chipboard busting out. I'm pretty happy about it. This was from a fun theater group, little day trip. This was no school. We had a bunch of ice this day. So I just used a jelly bean soup um, from a pattern paper that has a bunch of, uh, little flare bits on it and just put one of my epoxy bubbles on there. You guys have seen me do that a gazillion times. I'm going to use my Technique Tuesday cutout die, which I love. Um, usually once a month or every couple weeks, my husband will send me a picture of some fun coffee 
that he's drinking out and about. So I just used a stamp that says, first I drink the coffee, then I do the things. And that's from Studio Calico. Uh, my husband went away for a weekend cycling with his buddy. And so here's another one of those pieces of chipboard. It says adventure. This is just some tire bike or just tire washi. Just put this photo on a Project Life card and typed out my journaling. Uh, this is a Project Life card. And per my 2020 kind of new little thing I wanted to do, I wanted to use thickers and or alpha stickers. And on every project, like layout project life that I do, if possible. Um, I just, I don't have a ton, but I have more than I'd like and I don't use them. That's the problem. If we're really addressing, sorry if you can hear my tummy growling, if we're really addressing the major problem, it's that, you know, I try to use letter stickers, but I don't. So I've probably got about 10 different sheets that I could go through, so, so crazy. It's just some of those letters. Did my journaling with my typewriter. Sweet Ride was a really old piece of ephemera from Basic Gray and just kind of documenting our weird weather. Like he went out for a super long ride, but then, I mean, look at all the snow. Ugh. So then I went to a new movie theater by my house. Um, they have like recliners and heated seats um, with a girlfriend. And then more chipboard and I just cut the ends off again and I use a stamp from Hobby Lobby whatever their brand is I can't remember but I just stamped um, this again with VersaFine and um, did my journaling this is just um, Candace meeting her friend Lucy for the first time she's a daisy dog and then this last one it was leap year so I thought it'd be fun um, to have some friends over for game night and another piece of chipboard this is from Scraptastic I just stamped it on white cardstock and cut it out. Can't get enough. Mm, not exactly 100% sure where that's from. But um, if you want to know, I, I, it's not terribly old. Maybe LE Studio, but it's not new either. And then I just put it on a Project Life card and did my journaling. So let's do a once over. Again, you guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Follow me. Um, subscribe to my channel. I usually post videos once a week. And yeah. All right, thanks so much for watching and I'll be back soon. Bye.